Nothing is more important than protecting our family's health. But there's a danger hiding in many of our homes. It's in the air you're breathing. You can't see it, smell it, or taste it. Nevertheless, it could be silently damaging the health of everyone who lives in your home. Stay tuned and I'll fill you in on what the danger is, what you need to know about it, and how you can get a free do-it-yourself test kit from the state of Missouri so you can protect your family's health. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Steve Strawn and I'm a realtor with Remax Spoon Realty right here in beautiful Columbia, Missouri. I post videos every Wednesday about life and real estate here in central Missouri. Please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell below so you don't miss any of my videos. With all of us spending more time cooped up indoors during the pandemic, it's more important than ever to pay attention to indoor air quality. One of the most common health hazards in our homes is radon gas. Radon is a tasteless, odorless, but deadly radioactive gas found to some degree in most homes. It's a byproduct of the natural decay of radioactive elements in the rocks and soil underneath our homes. It enters your house through basements, crawl spaces, foundation cracks, floors, and walls. According to the American Lung Association, exposure to radon is the number one environmental cause of cancer death. The EPA says Exposure to radon causes approximately 21,000 lung cancer deaths every year. It's the leading cause of lung cancer among non-smokers and the second leading cause of lung cancer overall. Exposure to radon increases the risk of lung cancer for smokers 10 times that of non-smokers due to the synergistic effects of radon and smoking. Radon affects cats, dogs, and other small animals in the same way it does humans, by giving them lung cancer. The idea of one of our animal friends getting sick is not a pleasant thought, but often people don't even know about the hazard of radon in their homes until their pet gets sick. This week I heard from a friend in St. Louis whose son lost his dog to lung cancer. So he decided to have his home tested for radon. And guess what? The readings were high, and now he needs to have a radon mitigation system installed. He had no idea that he was exposing his dog, and himself for that matter, to a hazardous environment. Radon is measured in picocuries per liter of air. When average levels reach four picocuries per liter of air or above, the EPA recommends homeowners take immediate action to reduce radon gas in their homes to safer levels. The World Population Review website indicates that average radon levels in Missouri are 4.3 picocuries per liter of air so there's a good chance that your home could have an issue with ele elevated levels of radon gas. I've been selling residential real estate in Columbia and the surrounding area since 1994. In my experience, one in five of the homes I've helped sell has tested high for radon. So how can you determine if the air in your home is safe to breathe? Testing is the only way to know if your home has high levels of radon. And the EPA recommends testing for radon every couple of years because levels can change over time. Many home inspectors have sophisticated electronic radon testing equipment. 
and it's definitely a good idea to have a professional radon test when purchasing a home because the test can easily be completed within the inspection timeline in the contract. Typical cost in our area for a professional radon test is somewhere between $150 and $200. However, you can save money by testing your home yourself. The state of Missouri will supply residents with one free radon test kit per year. All you have to do is go to the radon section of the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services website, then click on the link for the radon test kit. Fill out your information and in a few weeks you'll receive your test kit in the mail. Complete the task, mail, the, mail it back to the lab, and in a few more weeks you'll get the results back. As you can see, because of the longer timeline, the free test kits are not a practical way to test for radon when you're purchasing a home. However, it's a great way to test for radon when you're already living there. According to Mark Kelsey, owner of American Home Inspection Service, the free test kits are just as accurate as his professional equipment when administered correctly. <laughs> Once you receive your test results, you'll know whether you need to take action to reduce radon levels in your home or not. Hopefully your home won't have high levels of radon. However, if it does, the good news is radon gas can successfully be reduced to safe levels by having a radon mitigation system installed. Locally, the cost for a professionally installed radon mitigation system is somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars depending upon how it needs to be configured for your particular home. For more information on radon check out the links in the description below. If you have questions or need the names of professional radon mitigation contractors or home inspectors just let me know and I'll be happy to help. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and be sure and click the subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you'll get notified when I post a new video. I've got so much more to share with you about life and real estate in Columbia and the surrounding area. I hope you'll join me at the next video.